in this lesson we will talk about similarity. So from these three pictures I'm sure you can start to get an idea of what similarity is. So in the first picture we can see that there's a large postal delivery van and then there's a smaller scale model of the delivery van. Here we can see a adult giraffe and next to it is a baby giraffe. And then the same with the elephants. So similarity means that they don't have to be, or they're not the same size, but they look similar, okay? So all of their proportions and all of their ratios have to be the same. For example, it wouldn't make sense if we take these wheels over here and we make them a lot bigger, because then it wouldn't look similar to the previous one. So the proportions have to be the same. So, okay, but I'm gonna explain this as we go along. Whereas in the previous lesson, we looked at congruency, and that's when they looked exactly the same. Whereas similarity, they just look similar. Okay, now there are two different ways to prove that two triangles are similar. So don't confuse this with congruency, which we looked at in the previous lesson, where there are four different ways. In similarity, there are only two ways. The first one is the following, is to look, you, what you have to do is you have to look at the proportions or the ratios of the sides. So for example, if you look at AB and you divide it by DE, you would get 3 out of 6, which is the same as 1 out of 2. If you then had to look at um, AC over DF, you would get 7 over 14, which is the same as 1 over 2. And then the last one, if you had to look at BE over EF, you would get 5 over 10, which is the same as 1 over 2. So because we're getting that same ratio number, it means that these two triangles are similar. Later on in the lesson, I'll show you exactly how to do it in the exam, but this is just an introduction. The next method is angles. If all the angles are the same, then the two triangles are similar. So for example, if A is equal to D and B is equal to E and C is equal to F, then because of this, we can say that the two triangles are similar. Guys, that is the only way to prove that two triangles are similar. Either using the sides and their proportions, or using the angles. We're not going to use techniques like SSS and SAS and SAA and RHS. That is congruency. That is a totally different chapter. Okay. So let's practice this. How would we do it in a test? Well, first of all, look how they ask the question. They say, prove that ABC. Now look how they have three lines over here. So congruency had three lines going this way. Similarity has three lines going this way. Kevin, how am I going to remember this? All right. Well, we said that congruency, you should write it out in capital letters or congruent, and you would see the E over there to show you the three lines. Can you see the E? Then similarity, you can also use that technique. Check this out. If you write out the word similarity, check what you get. There's an I, there's an I, and there's an I. And so those are the three I's that are next to each other. We can see it over here. And so with that, you will never forget which one is similarity and which one is congruency. So they want us to prove that these two triangles are similar. Now we said that there's only two ways to do this, either using sides or angles. Clearly, we have to use sides over here. So how would we do this in an exam? Like this, you would say in triangle, just like we did with congruency, you would just use their one, so ABC, and in triangle DEF. So you just tell the teacher which triangles you're going to work in. Now we need to look at the sides. So we could, for example, say that AB goes with DE. If, you stuck, if you're struggling to see which one goes with which, just look at the order of the letters. So AB will go with DE. So we can say AB over DE is equal to 66 over DE, which is 33. And if you simplify that, you're going to get 2. Then we can say, now we can look at another two letters. So for example, we could look at BC and EF. So we could say BC over EF, and that would be equal to 
96 over 48, which is also equal to 2. Then we could look at another two sides, which would be the first one and the last one. So that would be AC over DF, and that would be 130 over 65, and that is also equal to 2. So because all three of them are giving us a 2, we can say that these two triangles are similar. But what would our reason be? Well, you would first say, therefore, triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Why? Because the corresponding sides are in proportion. So you say corresponding like that, sides are in proportion proportion like that. So here's the next one and this one they want us to prove that triangle ABC is the same as or similar to triangle ADE. So clearly we need to use angles for this one because all we can see is angles. They haven't given us any sides. So if you're stuck and you don't know where to go or where to start, always look at the order that they've given you. So why would A be the same as A? So why would these two be the same? Well, I mean, if I had to pull these two triangles apart, it would look like this. You would have A, D, E, and then you would have A, B, C. So let me quickly draw that one. Would you agree with me that they both use angle A? And so that will have to be the same for both of them. And so what this means is that we can we should first tell the teachers which one we're working in. So in triangle ABC and triangle ADE, we can say that AB, sorry, we can say angle A is equal to angle A. Why? Because it's common to both of them. Then we can say that now you look at the next one, that's a B and the next one is a D. Why would B and D be the same? Well, they've given us that. So we could say angle B is equal to angle D because they gave us that. So that's given. And then we look at the next one, C and E. So angle C would equal to angle E, and that's also given. Oh, but we should call it E1. Can you see that? Because they, they've called it E1 specifically. And so therefore, we've got those three angles being the same. And so we can say, therefore, triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADE. But now we're not going to say corresponding sides are in proportion, because here we're using angles. So we just say A, A, A. Or you don't have to put the commas there, so A, A, A. Think about that. In congruency, we would say something like side, 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 angle, side. But when you're using similarity with angles, you just say angle, angle, angle. And so the last question for this lesson is the following. Prove that triangle PDE, so this is the small one here in red, is similar to PQR, PQR. Now guys, remember there are only two ways to do similarity, either using angles or sides. Clearly, this one is going to use sides. So we start off by saying in triangle PDE and triangle PQR, and now we need to use sides. Now my hint would always be to just use the letters that they give you. So because we're using sides now, you're gonna, you can't just say P, that would be an angle. So you're going to look at PD. So let's look at PD. Now what does that go with in the other triangle? Well, that goes with PQ. So let's say PD over PQ. And let's fill in the value. So PD is 3. PQ is not 9. Be careful for that, guys. A lot of people fill in a 9 over here. But PQ is the 3 plus the 9. And so that's going to be 12. And if you work that out on your calculator, that'll be 1 over 4. Now we move on to another two sides and so I would go to the formulas or the two triangles up here and I'd go to the next two so DE and QR and notice that I'm always starting with the triangle on the left um, I'm putting that one at the top otherwise the ratios won't work out and so DE has a length of 2.6 and QR has a length of 10.4 and if you work that out you'd get 1 over 4 so things are looking good so far now we just need to look at the last two sides, and so that would be PE and PR. So I would say PE over PR, and let's see what that is. Well, that's going to be 2 over, now remember PR is the 2 plus the 6. Let me just let you see that. There we go, 2 plus 6, and so that's going to be 8, and so that's going to be 1 over 4. So check this out, guys. All three of the ratios are the same, and so that means they are similar. So we say, therefore, triangle PDE 
is similar to triangle PQR. Why? Now we don't say angle, angle, angle because we're not using angles. We rather say corresponding sides in proportion like that. Awesome guys, so that's it. That is how you do similarity. Thank you for watching.